Okay, so in this question it tells us, or asks us, which expression is equivalent to 3 to the 3rd, right, times 3 to the 4th. So here we have 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 4th, and we can memorize this and quickly solve it, right? We could say, oh, this is equal to 3 to the 7th because our laws of exponents say any number, right, to a power times the same number to a different power results in us adding the exponents of that power. So here we're just adding 3 and 4, and we're getting 7. But, but we should also understand a little bit about this to think about why might this be happening? Why might it make sense to be adding these exponents? So again, the answer is 4, right? 3 to the 7th, choice 4. Uh, but part of what's happening uh, has to deal with the associative property, right? A multiplication. Because we have 3 to the 3rd times 3 to the 4th, and if you think about what that means, well, we have 3 to the 3rd, and that's just 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 to the 4th, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. If we look at this, we can see that, oh, 3 to the 3rd is right here. That's 3 threes that we're multiplying, and here we have 3 to the 4th. That's 4 threes that we're multiplying. So altogether, what this is saying is that we're multiplying 3 plus 4 threes, right? It's three to the seventh. And, and this ability to regroup, to first think of them as two separate groups, and then undo that and put them all to one group, that is kind of the essence of the associative property. Um, all right, so I hope this helps.